hello guys welcome back to our channel things are happening in nigeria and uh, a lot of persons have decided to do the need for some feel that secession is the only way out after they have asked for restructuring it's not happening um people are taking laws into their hands some have decided to use uh the names of the, the name of the presidency or the name of the president to do a lot of things a lot is happening and Nigerians are beginning to feel that the president is so insensitive to their plight. Uh, many things happening at the same time and the president not really giving uh, what we call public um, public talk, you know, maybe giving what you call a, a brief, brief briefing on what is happening or the next step. All we keep hearing is presidency said or somebody said the, the name of the president and at the same time and it looks as if some of those statements seem to to some extent contradict some of the rules of the law of the country well the presidency has spoken and they are very staying about it but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we do like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it if we see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well the presidency have decided to speak and they said enough is enough we had buhari the president muhammad buhari already have enough enemies he does not need more to increase the tempo while well, it's now getting uncomfortable with the countless allegations being hauled at the president over diverse issues of governance in the country and in particular those policy statements and directives purportedly emanating from the president but which the president does not have any hand in while the presidency on, on thursday has sent a strong warning to the people involved to desist from such practice immediately mm. The presidency in a statement on Thursday through the presidential aide on social media, Loretta Honor Chair, who said president already has enough enemies and that name droppers, those in the practice of casually mentioning the names of the president in order to impress some group of people, all Nigerians should not make more enemies for him. By desisting from using the president's name when embarking on illegal unconstitutional and undemocratic ventures the presidency explained that for no reason would the president be involved in any scheme to break the law or side with anything undemocratic in her words she said dear name droppers it's disgusting how people claim that they have president Buhari's backing especially when embarking on illegal, unconstitutional, and undemocratic ventures. Our president is a law-abiding citizen of this great nation. He will never be part of any scheme to break the law or side with anything undemocratic. Stop making enemies for him. Though unjustifiable, President Muhammad Buhari has enough enemies. Please stop. It's no longer funny. Stop enough is enough wow well nigerians have actually reacted but let's quickly continue with what she said she said consequently many nigerians will react while reacting to the development alleged that using the name of the president to carry out illegal activities by the people he appointed into his cabinet is a sign that things are not right within the administration Moreover, while some have blamed the scenario on the president himself, others are of the view that the saboteurs within the government should be punished. However, what's a take on this whole scenario? But let's quickly look at what Nigerians have said concerning this matter, because the truth is, um, if the cabinet members are using the name of the presidency, it's as good as saying the presidency has spoken if let's let's be practical here let's leave sentiment aside when last did the, the president give us public briefing when last did he come on live program and allowed nigerians to interact public interactions with him none and if there was was quite probably probably the last tenor probably not this tenor we keep hearing a live program there's no calling in we are not allowed to call in into the program there's no um a brief, uh, you know, inter uh, yes, interview with the president. We just get to hear one live, whatever, and that's that's it. We don't get to feel our president. And for that reason, anybody can come in and use the name of the president, and we'll just assume it's the president. 
if the president usually have what we call press briefing from time to time and allow Nigerians to call in in live programs, I'm sure uh, some of these name calling or name dropping wouldn't even come into play because from time to time Nigerians will say no, our president can't say this, or whenever there is any in, uh, in, uh, general, uh, interview with him, they can easily ask that question and he would debunk it. But we don't even have such privileges, so that's why probably this name dropping thing is making waves. And yes, for somebody to even have the guts to use the name of the president to do anything undemocratic, it clearly shows that he has idea or he has been privileged to be close to the president enough to use his name with confidence, knowing fully well that he or she will not be penalized. Don't forget, in Nigeria, we have presidency in Nigeria. In um, maybe the other senior claims, senior countries, we have presidents. Like Donald Trump is the president of you know, United States and all that, you know. But in Nigeria, we have president, we have presidency. And presidency can be anybody. So we Nigerians have gotten used to it. When we hear the presidency said, or we hear that um, somebody saying uh, with the backing of the presidency, we don't know which of the presidency they are referring to. There could just be a casual mention of the presidency, but Nigerians just assume that it's the backing of the president himself talking. Okay, now, Loretta Onoche is one of the presidential aides. We know, he, we know her as the presidency. Uh, Femi Adesina is one of the presidential media persons. We also know him as the presidency. Uh, she Gaba is also known as he's also known as the presidency. Uh, Salami sometimes we also know him as the presidency. These are cabinet people, so sometimes you wouldn't blame Nigerians for assuming that everything that comes on with the name tag presidency or the backing of the presidency or the backing of we just assume that it has the full support of the president. So. Technically speaking, it's not Nigerians, but we've gotten used to presidency and president said. If we keep hearing, if we keep seeing him on live, you know, programs, probably we'll know what, you know, who can, I have an idea of the mindset of the president. But let's quickly feel the pulse of Nigeria, because Nigerians have spoken very extensively over this matter. This one here is saying, Bubu is definitely not in charge. Mm, that's a strong word. This one here is saying, well, this one here is saying, just say you want to be in his good book. Mm. This one here says she's number one person giving Buhari a bad name. This one here says, I swear this madam, she's the number one enemy of PMB. If she does not know, please, somebody close to her should tap her. This one here is saying, Madam Onoche, I dispute your assertion. President Buhari is rather creating and accumulating enemies for himself. Tara Fulani has been killed my relatives and Buhari was totally silent. When our governor let complain, he said we should learn to live in peace with our visitors. Repeatedly, the, Fulani, the killer Fulani headsman attacked and killed our people. He, keep, he kept quiet. He kept silent. But when there is a little reprisal, Buari explodes and starts warning us. I have every reason to hate Buari, but he's, he is not what we want. Just tell him that he should stop. Mm, Nigerians are I guess what I've been told, I guess this must be either Southern Cardinal person or is um, a, a Benue person. But let's continue. This one here is saying, Loretta, sometimes I want to believe you are normal. Why do you see chicken popularity? Why do you seek chicken popularity? Your boss is performing below standard. Instead of you to do something about it, you are castigating and insulting those who do not agree with you. Okay. I think she did. I think I would rather pass that one. They're getting a bit insulted. This one here is saying, hmm. This one here is saying, how is the president not aware of security agencies being killed during even during elections for him and the party to win? This one here, say, this one here is saying, right on, Baba. We are together, upper level loaded. We won't rest until Nigeria is safe. This one here is saying, have the president for once respect the law in his actions? Let him court these words. Law is subject to governance. This one here is saying, he doesn't have enough enemies. The, the enemy of Nigeria now, I don't know what he's trying to write here, but I think I think I will rather stop because uh, the insult is getting really very heavy. Uh, they started calling out, calling her name, calling her out and all that. And also the fact that some Nigerians are really very angry. If we go through the statements, you notice that um, Nigerians are actually quite insulted over their assessment. They're saying that, assertions rather, they're saying that um, look at the level of insecurity. The, the president is not saying anything about it. He's just saying that they, they've asked for the service chiefs to be changed several days, yet we are still maintaining the same service chiefs 
expecting change in result that which is not almost an impossible task really same scheme and now they're pick, picking on us security agents nothing is being done so nigerians are generally angry and they're calling out the uh, honor chair saying that look she's just looking for cheap popularity that the truth be told that the government itself has failed there's no need it's not a case of enemy calling or enemy looking it's just a case of the fact that the government itself and the the, the way of its functionality is not working but that's where we're going to wrap it up What's your take on what the presidential aide has said? Do you honestly think that, honestly, let's let's be very objective. Do you honestly think just maybe the president, Muhammad Buhar, may not be aware of how bad things have become? Or do you think that he's aware, but he just doesn't want to react? I, for one, I believe that maybe, just maybe, he may not truly be aware of the level of decadence already existing.